welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a recipe you're really going to love. This is a very simple and delicious quiche with bacon and leeks in it. So uh, it's a very simple, basic recipe. Uh, there's a lot of room for you to uh, really explore this one. You can uh, add, you can make any kind of substitution you like for this. Um, we're just showing you sort of a basic recipe. So we're starting with our ingredients. We've got eggs, we've got some milk, and some cream, that's for our egg mixture. Uh, we've got some leeks, now these are frozen leeks, and we'll show you how we deal with these a little bit later, and uh, some really nice bacon. There's also gonna be some cheese, we're gonna show you that a little bit later. And uh, we're gonna start by rendering our bacon. So uh, get a pan nice and hot. And we are going to start by uh, cutting our bacon into lardons. So very simple, we're just going to cut this into nice little, little uh, slices here. Because we don't want big, full strips of bacon, and we also don't necessarily want to cut it uh, or sorry, cook it whole and then break it up to put into the um, into the quiche because we don't want it to necessarily get the, quite that crispy. We do want it nice and brown, but we uh, we just want it cooked. We don't want it super uh, super crunchy. So there we go into the pan. So we're going to put that into our our nice hot pan there and let everything start to cook. You want to spread it around as much as you can, make sure you break up any large pieces. Meanwhile, we're going to start getting our egg mixture together. So we like to uh, just break our eggs. We showed you this earlier. We like to break our eggs into a bowl just to make sure there are no little bits of shell or that there's anything wrong with the egg. Uh, once it's mixed in with the other ones, you can't really get it out. So just put them one by one into a bowl and then you can put them into your, uh, into your final mixing bowl. So there's our four eggs. Of course, all of the uh, ingredient amounts will be in the description below as usual. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to that. Oh, some good seasonings there. You can see the other two that we're gonna use in the background there. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce and Tabasco just to give a little bit more zing and a little bit more flavor. So just a dash of Tabasco, a good generous dash of uh, Worcestershire sauce. And uh, then we're going to get our milk and our cream ready. Once again, the amounts are going to be in the description below. Uh, so we're just going to add the cream to the milk here and add them at once. That's just fine. Now we get... <laughs> You can see these little um, pieces coming out. We get uh, non-homogenized cream. It's organic, non-homogenized. So what you're seeing there is the uh, the the cream, the butterfat, basically rising to the top of the cream, um, which is not a problem. It's delicious, uh, but you do need to give it a little bit of extra beating to make sure it's all broken up and there's not any big chunks of cream. <laughs> As delicious as they are, they do mess with the texture a little bit. So you want to give that a really good beating. If you buy regular uh, table cream or even regular heavy cream, normally that is homogenized and you're not going to run into problems. Well, I say problems. You're not going to run into uh, uh, little lumps of cream like that. So give that a nice good whisk. Here's what our bacon looks like. Just take a little brief check to make sure everything's cooking there. And here's our cheese. We like to use a Gruyere, a good melting Gruyere for this. And uh, we're just going to give this uh, this block a grating. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be uh, anything really top shelf. An Emmentaler or a Gruyere is perfect for this. Um, if you want to use something like a Monterey Jack, you can. I would avoid anything particularly oily. So. Uh, Here's our bacon. It's getting there. Uh, we just want to make sure that it's well cooked. We don't want it really crispy, but we do want it well browned. You can see it's getting some good color on it there now. Okay. 
Meanwhile, back at the cheese, we are just about done with this, and um, we're going to start by layering the bottom of our pie shell with uh, the first layer of cheese. Now, if you have your own pie shells, uh, your own pie crust at home, by all means, you can use your own. Uh, these don't need to be blind baked. Um, we are using store-bought because it was a little faster for this. Okay, our bacon is pretty much all cooked. It's well browned and uh, not too, too crispy, so it's still going to have a little bit of um, texture to it. It's not just going to be all crisp. And we want to get rid of some of that fat, so we're just going to strain it out. So There you go. Now we're going to take our leeks. So these were frozen. We, uh, we buy them fresh in the summer when they're really, really fresh and delicious. And uh, we freeze them so that we can use them in the winter. And you can see here, uh, because they're frozen, they're, uh, we're going to use slightly larger pieces because um, after they're frozen, the texture changes quite a lot. And uh, when you put them in the pan, a lot of the water is going to render out. Um, if you're using them fresh, I would definitely recommend uh, cutting them into smaller pieces before they hit the pan. So into the pan they go. We just left a little bit of that bacon grease in the pan, or you can use um, a little bit of butter, whatever you prefer. So once those start to uh, steam a little bit, we're just going to season it, a little bit of salt and pepper. And once again, we do just want a little bit of brown marking on all these. We just want to give them a, a little bit of color while they're uh, while they're cooking there. You can break them up. We do want to, to break them up a little bit. And there you go. You can get a good idea of uh, just how much they reduced, how much liquid just rendered out and, uh, and came off in the cooking process. And we're just going to take those off the heat uh, a little bit of color on them, all uh, sort of uniformly, and uh, now we're going to start assembling our pie. So we have the cheese on the bottom already. On top of that, we're going to just uh, take a layered approach. We're going to add our bacon. I believe the bacon was uh, about six ounces pre-cooked weight, so a lot of that rendered out as fat. We keep our bacon fat for future use, so not going to waste by any means. On top of our bacon we're going to add our leeks. And you just want to make sure you get all of those out of your pan and get a nice sort of even layer of leeks in there. And then on top of that, we're just going to add our last layer of cheese. So uh, this is going to just be the remainder of the cheese on top. Um, you may be wondering, where is our egg mixture? Well, that's coming in a moment, and it's the reason we have it in a baking sheet. So um, we find that the uh, amounts that we've shown you provide a pretty full pie. Um, so the baking sheet is basically just to avoid any overspill. Once that egg mixture gets in there, it will expand. Um, so you want to make sure that you have a little bit of room to, to give it to grow as it cooks. And there we go. Try not to leave any of it on your baking sheet because it will just burn on there. So now we're going to move this into our oven. We're going to put this down on our center rack here. And while it's there, we're going to add our egg mixture. The reason is it makes it uh, much less likely that something is going to spill. So give your egg mixture one last little whisk before you pour it in, and then just gently pour it in all the way around. You want to make sure that it's uh, just sinking down into the uh, into your 
ingredients there, filling all those little nooks and crannies inside, uh, it will flow and fill the uh, fill the space inside of your pie. And there you can see it's sort of uh, coming up on the bottom edge there. This is not perfectly level as it stands right now. So once you have it all in there, you're going to very gingerly push that back in. And then we're going to keep this at 350. We're going to start at about half an hour. Timer there. Now this can cook for anywhere from 30 to 50 minutes before it's done. And the way that you can test, you can see it spilled over just a little tiny bit there, but all of that egg came up and covered the cheese which uh, browned a little bit on top. So just give it a little shake, a little wiggle. If you see that it's flowing or uh, like sloshing inside, it needs more time. A little bit of wiggle in the middle is fine. Uh, this one came out actually pretty firm, but it was not overcooked. It came out just about exactly right after half an hour. And there you have it. That's our very simple, basic leek and bacon quiche. Uh, this is super simple. It's really easy. Uh, it's delicious. And... Uh, you can make any kind of alterations you like to it. You can add mushrooms, you can add, you can subtract, whatever you like. This is really, really simple. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.